Hey, hello and welcome back to my channel guys and girls should I say to the small percentage that do watch the videos Now as you can see we are back in the Boeing 737 cockpit Let me just set the park brake uh, Set the park brake, there we go Yeah, This is the same scene in about Act 7 or the same thing I keep on getting somebody interrupting me by opening the door Or have to open the door for somebody So yeah, as you can see we are back in the Boeing 737-800 cockpit it is our night stop, the tech locks over there, I must have a look at the books just now. And uh, I'll set the park brake, just to go do the brake wear pin measurements, those pins on the brakes that I've shown in the other videos, where we uh, check the brake wear, and uh, our company likes us to measure these pins and make sure that they have a little bit left, so we change the brakes slightly early, just to make sure we don't run into problems later on. So yeah, I'll sit back, we'll do some more things today. Uh, to the guys that are subscribing to the channel and uh, doing the likes, thank you very, very much. To the other guys that do the comments, I've, I've read a lot of them. I uh, do not answer the most of them because uh, it's a couple of thousand by now. And uh, yeah, to the guys that answer some of those questions, thank you very much. And I also like to see there's some um, good comments in there, a bit of fun stuff. And uh, yeah, and then we have the other things where I like the little fights between the Boeing guys and the Airbus guys and whose cockpit's ergonomics are better and whose bigger cockpit and who's got a smaller cockpit and uh, the layout of the cockpit and all those little fun things. It's quite nice to see there's a bit of positive rivalry there. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me. So in today's video we're going to mess around with this little thing, with this little computer. We just turn the brightness up so we can see properly turn the switches in the back here so we can actually see the numbers and there we go oh, so we have to go in here as part of our maintenance checks and uh, you see there's the maintenance and we have to go look at the engines both of them the EECs the engine and the electronic control units there's the engine one over there I'll look at the APU just now I think you've seen them before in one of my other videos but yeah the engine one and then have the two engines over there and we go to the bite test, which is the built-in test equipment. That's what bite stands for. And we're going into the EEC, Engine Electronic Control Unit. It's about the same as a cause ECU, whatever they call it, where you go to the agents and if you have a problem, we have one of those engine lights on your car. You go to them and do the testing. Well, they have a separate little dongle and a laptop to do it. We, we are fortunate that we can actually do the ground test on board the aircraft with no other equipment required. So yeah, that's the start. We can do different things. We're going to do the EEC test on the top. It takes a little while because uh, the EEC, in this case on the engines, are actually a two-in-one sort of unit. Uh, it's got a channel A and a channel B that we have to test. And uh, it tells you a couple of reasons what we have to do. Let's check which lights are on and off here. Uh, and these are those, the engine lights. And uh, you can see that the engines become active in the test. It just as a point of interest, that power for, for this communication comes from the idle cutoff switches over there. And you'll see the number two is currently not displaying anything. As far as fuel flow and well pressure and well temperature. But as soon as I put this lever, the run position for the engine, those become active. So as part of the EEC test, they do it automatically as part of the test. So let's just return this to the wall. And it asks me if those lights are off, which they are, and then I push continue. Now it's going to run through its test 30 seconds or so, and then it'll give us a fuel filter light, it'll also give us the EEC light in the alternate mode and some more things over there and also this fuel warning should come on you on the six pack with a, a master caution in a couple of seconds. I see this is still busy doing its thing. So we have to wait a little bit longer. Yep, there we go. There have the flashing indicators ask you 
if that's happening. We've got the fuel warning, we've got those lights, we have the filter bypass, and now we have the engine control and the alternate mode on. It's all the questions answered over there, so let's continue. Ask you if they're all off, which they are. This one I have to manually cancel. And the fuel filter bypass is also now off. And so is the engine control lights as well. There we go. And we can continue the test. Yep, we are happy that they are all off. Continue the test. And now you see we go over to channel B. Same ignition, still number one engine, the B system. It's going to do the whole 30 second setup again. And uh, yeah, we do these for both engines, so it's the same test basically four times over. It takes a little while, a couple of minutes. It's just part of the test we have to do at night, amongst other things. Yeah, like checking the oils and the fuels and the, and the fluids and the oxygen and testing all the little light switches. As you can see, we have oxygen, plenty. Oh, here we go, back to the test. That's on, we go back to that on. That is on, bypass is on, and we have the engine light with alternate. Yep, happy with that. There we go. Now it's gonna ask me to put everything off. It is all off. This one is cancelled. That one is off. And that one is off. Yep, we are happy with that. And we got test results. For engine number one. Ah, there's a message. You see. So now this needs to get recorded. So I'm going to stop the video here so I can just take a picture quickly of that fault and then we can continue straight after. So let me just fade out here quickly. Alright, now that the photo is taken, we've got that problem. We can end the test there and we have it recorded so we can talk to our maintenance control center and uh, see what we're going to do about this. And it says return aircraft to normal condition, which we are going to do now. I'm just going to go back a little bit so I can get to that uh, APU page for the auxiliary power unit, APU. Uh, there we go, back to the APU we go. And then here, yeah, since we have an APU that's running, we can see a few things. It's, uh, well, that's the notification that gives you the serial number and the hours on the aircraft and so on. And below it is the input monitoring and the oil quantity. We can go check the oil quantity with you. It says unknown, so I'll have to open the back panel just to see how much oil is in there. If there would be too little, we should have the maintenance light on over here. It's a blue light. I'll just quickly put the lights test on so we can just see that. It'll have the blue light on to indicate there's too little oil. But for now, since it's a night stop, we're going to have to verify it manually. So we'll do that just now. Go back and since then, yeah, the input monitoring was actually quite a nice one because you can see quite a few things. Yeah, so yeah, here we can see the engine is running, the APU is running at 100%. We can see the temperature is sitting at 380, 379, and we can see we're burning 186, 189, 187 pounds per hour in fuel. So, yeah, pounds per hour, pound is about 450 grams, so that's about 2.2. No, it's less than 2.65 by it. But yeah, 2.2 pounds is one kilogram for the guys who want to do the conversion into kilograms of how much fuel it's going to be. So you have to divide that by 2.2. So that gives you about 90, 80, 90 odd kilograms of fuel per hour. So it's quite a bit of fuel getting burnt by the APU being on. And then there are four pages there as well, so we can go through the four pages. I'm not going to go through everything, but it tells you everything. It tells you what the switch positions are. You see on the next page. It tells you that it's on, yes, or off, no. And there's four pages of it. So 
they are quite nice. I have to go back and I'll do the, the number two engine's EC test as well. So let's go for engine number two. And then continue its test. Initializing number two engine. It takes a little bit of time. So I'm not going to bore you guys to go through this test again. It will be exactly the same as the number one engine. So at this point, I'd just like to thank you guys once again. Thank you very much for watching my programs. And uh, have a nice day or a nice evening. And thank you. Until next time, goodbye.